Hello, today we're playing Bigfoot on the NES. Uh, maybe made by a claim. What have they been up to these days? I have no idea. Did they get like bought by another company or something? Oh man, check out that uh, that what 1990 uh, art. Um. Okay, we have a significant downgrade from that menu to this menu. Uh, let's hit one player. Uh, start Bigfoot rally. Okay. Oh man, check it out. They even did the curvature of the Earth, sort of. How at the, see how, how at the top it looks like it's curving? Oh geez, okay, we're playing, I guess. Am I the blue one, maybe? Well, we gotta wait for the jingle to end. Oh man, it's like bump and jump. You can actually just jump without hitting a ramp? Okay, I have played this um, a, f a couple of times, not in a long time. I played this in Germany. This was actually, I'm pretty sure the first time I played this was, um, like my mom was like, like went to rent a game and she just she just picked this one and I remember liking it I, like are we picking up power-ups to use in like the next event or something I think uh, are like okay so we're just like collecting I'm pretty sure you get like a bonus every time you get up far enough ahead to where it like boosts the other person I think or do they lose points when that happens we get points for crushing the cars all right yeah, I don't know what any of these uh, power-ups mean. I have nitros. Oh man, boy. This is kind of cool. It is sort of primitive, too. I remember there being a... Um... Oh man, you can just blow your car up? Okay, I'm pretty sure that finishing first is probably... Um, gives you some kind of large bonus or something. I don't know. I remember there being like a tractor pull. Uh, something where you have to like hit left and right over and over again, I think. Okay, so am I only competing against this one guy? And now that I have more money, yeah, see. It, the more money you have, the more money you have for upgrades, which then makes it easier to win. Uh, I don't know what any of these do. I've only rented this game, I think, twice. And then both times were when I was like six or seven. Um, engine, that's... I mean, should I just max everything out? I have enough to max everything out. What's the point of having more money than that? Do I only get the power-ups for the next event only? And then I have to buy them again? Oh. This is the other dude. Alright. Okay, not even gonna make fun of him for being out of money because I could have easily lost that one considering I have no idea how to play. Oh, this... I, okay, I do remember this. I remember thinking it was cool how... Uh, did I do a false start? How do you go? You do have to hit left and right. Okay. Uh, see how... I guess I had, like, more points and tires, so my tires are actually bigger than his. I actually thought that was cool how, uh, your car actually looks different. Okay, he won, but only because I couldn't figure out how to, uh, control at first. I was hitting left and right, and then it, it worked for a second, and then it didn't work, and then it worked again. So, yeah, I don't know. Um... I can take stuff off and get money back. I bet that pisses off the uh, the mechanic or whatever that has to do all that. Oh man, we got voice. Car crunch. Okay, we're going. Um, just run over the cars, I guess. Is there like a button I could push to do something else? I don't want to stop pressing left or right. Huh. Maybe, uh, maybe you don't always want to have your stats, like, maxed out. Like, that was, like, the car cruncher one. Maybe I had something where... I mean, I don't know. Maybe you don't always want to have max stuff. Maybe it's detrimental in certain ways. Man, I don't know. Alright, now what? Why was my car all spinning out and whatnot? Yeah, I don't know. Alright, here we go again. What the hell is that, uh, that green goopy stuff? Boy, there's a lot of goofy-ass sound effects. Alright. Oh, man. Come here. Oh, yeah, f you up. F, f up his whole car. Oh, I think he's invincible. Alright. Looks like a fish skeleton. Why do I need more money and whatnot? I already have all the shit maxed out. 
Did I... Did I do that? Oops. Well, I thought I was gonna jump, but instead I just boosted, like, right into the... The tree a jam. Okay, yeah, I... I still don't exactly know how to play. Oh, I think that's your... Is there a button you push to use your item that you collected or whatever? Well, I need one that hits behind me. Oh man, it's like uh, like that one. Um, uh, what do you call it? What's the name of that uh, thing you use in uh, Chrono Trigger? Where you just uh, you the way you win is that you just bash yourself against the back of the dude when he tries to pass you to, uh, to stay ahead. Uh, the Growler. Is that the name of the uh, other car? The next event is the Reno Mud Race. All right. Entrance fee is a thousand dollars. Do you just have to like win enough to where you like starve out the other person or something, and then and then you win? I don't know. Well, I got all this shit maxed out on the first one. What's the point of money at this point? I can't even buy like turbos. I think in Super Off Road you could spend money on like individual nitros or whatever, just to give you little boostuses. Yeah, see, look at that. See, he took... Well, he doesn't have enough money to max out everything. So maybe that's why he took off some shit and put it in other places. I don't know. Is there a button to, like... Can I, like, shift gears or something? Okay, so we're now in the... In the weird red mud. Do they not have... Did they not have brown color available in this game? I feel like they did. This is kind of a cool uh, shade of red. It reminds me of that one level in uh, Marble Madness, the aerial level. Okay, well, I did the same thing I did in the other one, except this time I won, but the other times I didn't win. See, so, yeah, I don't know. I thought maybe there was a button to, like, shift gears or something. There was, a, there was like, a gear shifty. It didn't have that many gears uh, to shift between. To race. Oh, heat two? All right. So are there three heats? So why is why was his S uh, blinking? See, and his temp is going up too, and my temp isn't going up. I don't know. I guess I'm winning, so I shouldn't. I mean, I don't know. On the one hand, I don't want to complain, but I do also want to like know what I'm doing because I wasn't winning uh, in the other one. But he damages engine. It looks he's got like green smoke coming out of his engine. All right, player one. Uh, wins. All right, cool. Well, all this money and nothing to buy with it. Yakima. All right. Mr. Brookie McGee here with $100 and no nitros. Oh, man. Oh, I guess the nitros don't carry over. I don't have any either. Oh, man. That is kind of an annoying sound. To have to listen to when you're invincible. I'm guessing I'm invincible. I don't even know. I haven't been able to like confirm a whole lot. That's why this is like the what third or fourth one of these, and I still have no idea like what's what. Okay, so is the fish skeleton looking thing? Okay, that's a that's a turbo. Oh, jeez. Okay. I thought that was going to crash me, but it did not. Oh, what's up with that bumper section? Yeah, I don't know why it just lets you... You can just jump. You can just jump without anything. Oh, you bitch. Also, what's that bar at the bottom? Is that your damage? Well, I thought that even if you blow up your car... Yeah, by the way, your car completely explodes like in uh, Stunt Race... What do you call it? Stunt race effects? It just like the pieces of your car just explode and then they reform. It's kind of weird. So if you can do that, what's the point of having um what's the point of having a damage thing if it doesn't mean that your race ends or whatever? Because in some games, once your damage gets maxed out or whatever, then you just lose. Boy, only four levels to put stuff in. Oh, good job. Prepare to race. Only like six more events and you'll have all this sh your shit maxed out. Oh, was that a- did I do a false start? And then I got penalized and that's why I froze? That would explain why it happened that one other time. Oh, also... 
you don't want your temp to get up too high, I think, right? I don't remember this event at all. Oh, my de uh, tires got damaged. Did they shrink? So now I have to... Oh, yeah, see, I think his tires shrunk too right there. So I think that means that I'm going to have to buy um, more engine-y stuff. Wait, how did I lose? I feel like I was doing pretty well. Oh, man, look how tiny his tires are. I guess mine are pretty... Mine smaller than his? Okay, so this is... So when your shit gets damaged, you have to rebuy it, and then that's the point of it giving you more money. Okay, fair enough. Somehow I'm, I'm, I managed to avoid getting anything damaged up until this point. Jeez. So, yeah, I don't know. Oh, man. It's like a... It's like a broke person trying to pay bills. They're like, well, if I take money off of this, if I only pay half my heat bill, then I can, like, feed my kids. Or I can just tell my kids that the laws changed and now that we only eat one meal a day. And then I can keep the hot water on so I can keep taking hot showers. Yeah, when you get to that point, man, it, it amazes me how, how so many people will get to, like, a point in their financial life where they're like they're so screwed and it doesn't occur to them that oh geez and it doesn't occur to them that I need to like make a change in my life in some way you know I understand that when you're in a desperate situation you're just thinking like day to day or whatever like how am I gonna pay this to keep this the lights on today how am I gonna keep eating today but at the same time if it's not gonna work long term then you need to come up with a long term plan you know you can keep the lights on today but what are you gonna do you know, in some other area. Uh, yeah, by the way, the game completely... It even froze. It even froze on a note. Uh, but I mean... Yeah, this is just a one-off anyway, so I mean... If... I'm not sure, like... I don't remember the game being that long. Um, I thought that I'd be able to, like, complete a game, uh, during a one-off. But we were, like, going all, all the way around the world. So, if I would have... If it would have kept going, if we would have actually gone to each one of those flags or whatever... This, this would have taken, like, two hours, so... In a way, it's actually, I'm totally okay, actually, that it, that it fucked up. Um, yeah, I'm not sure, was that just, I don't know. I mean, this is, this is emulated, but at the same time, uh, any glitches that are in the, uh, the cartridge version, uh, carry over to the emulation or whatever, because it's an exact copy, or, you know, pretty close or whatever. I'm pretty sure that there was plenty of glitches like this in NES games, so I actually don't know if it was, I'm guessing it was that this would have happened even if I was on cartridge. Yeah, I don't know what made it happen, though. Uh, yeah, just one of those things. So, anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks so much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe uh, if you enjoyed it. And we will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.